This humble, incredible gadget can take you from the boring to the sublime. And whether you're smashing it or muddling it in so you can add liquids, juices, vinegars, oils, you know, this is your kind of key to flavour. But for me in the kitchen, you know, no meal has to be boring. There's so many possibilities, but you could take like the everyday roast potato. It can be made so much better by just grabbing a little bit of rosemary, pound out the flavor, the essential oils, the fragrance, you know, a little garlic can get cracked in there, then a little bit of olive oil, and then you toss those parboiled potatoes in that and you roast it next level. You haven't tasted pesto until you've made your own in this. It's a different level. We're not cutting it, we're not blending it, we're pounding it, we're bruising it, we're extracting all the flavor. So I love to take like a handful of basil and mint and just pound it up to like a sludge. And then I pound up almonds, delicious, and then loosen it with a little olive oil and parmesan and some crushed garlic and that, that stodgy little spoon of intensity, that on hot steaming pasta of any shape or size. Use your imagination, use your fantasy. Flavoured sugars, just muddle in a little ginger, bash up some basil and a little sugar, and you dust that over mango or pineapple. Boom. Wow. Little coffee beans. Some beautiful honey. And then get my pestle and mortar and just shake it all over the top. What you've created is a combination, right? The sweetness with the salty richness of the delicious cheddar. And then this kind of slightly weird flavor coffee. And even though it's wrong, it's wrong until you put it in your mouth and then it's right. Another level. So there you go, the pestle and mortar, the heart of any real kitchen. And the only thing you've got to do is use it.